Okay, this is a quick guide on how to do decals in the Blender game engine. Uh, okay, I'm going to just uh, start out by adding a lamp, spot lamp. I'm going to move that up above the cube here. I'm going to add a plane to the scene. I'm going to scale that up by 10. Okay, just bring that down. I'm going to uh, quickly edit that so it has a uh, that's what I did okay uh, I'll do that subdivide 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 do that a few times that work no yeah edit mode okay okay well the spotlight here is where the magic happens okay you'd uh Make sure you're in, you know, game render, texture view, and GLSL, and you go to image, and you would just add new image, uh, image or movie. I'm gonna open up a picture off my hard drive, and for whatever reason, it's not taking effect which it's been doing that for some reason the last couple times I've tried to do stuff like this and I basically just switch to another tab up here and back and it re you know, was refreshed or whatever I have no idea what the glitch is there but you notice when you have a spot lamp it's hitting the this cube here and you don't want it doing that so the idea is to just hit the M key put it over on layer 2 and then while it's on layer 2 it shouldn't be getting affected but it is so the way to get it to not affect it is you select the lamp here and you go down to make sure this layer only and it also got rid of that shadow but uh, I think disabling shadows would be beneficial for other objects other you know other than uh, that there so um lost my train of thought uh i gotta change my mixing mode which is going to be the bottom down here okay so the mix is going to be set to multiply and the multiply option actually is like the only one that seems to really work work for this and it you know will uh eliminate uh being projected onto the side this uh box here and you may be thinking okay well if I'm gonna have lights in my scene and different things like that you're gonna have multiple lights it's gonna make it hard to see this decal so the way to get that to work the way you want is to uh, change its brightness and basically I'm actually gonna turn the energy of this down to 0.05 that's pretty darn low. I might be. That might. I might have to turn that up. But if you go over to the texture and you go to turn the texture up to say 100, it'll uh, increase its visibility significantly. I'm actually just gonna cut down to 50. That'll. That looks okay. So I cut down the visibility of the halo of the spot lamp by turning it way down and then I turned up the brightness of the you know influence color of the texture to get it to be more visible so I can have a lamp in the room and it won't affect how this looks so the benefit of doing this is say you have a character that has an ability when he does a charge up you can have this lamp spawned in from a different layer and play an animation where it'll expand and perhaps rotate on, you know, say rotate on the Z. So it'll do an animation like that to produce an effect. And earlier I uh, was messing with the, um, this plane here, to subdividing it. And that's basically because I'm going to do some sculpting on it to show you. Uh, how 
the different levels will look on how the texture will look as the levels change. And I guess I thought I'd show you guys that and, uh, before I got done with this. And as you can see, it just wraps contourally around whatever surface you're on. So as you have this camera, or camera, this light parented to the cube or your character object, basically it will be able to produce that effect wherever he is standing and you know you can do all kinds of things with this you just kind of have to use your imagination but I thought this was rather useful for the engine as a feature and I think that covers everything alpha works uh, I just haven't messed with it you gotta else let you guys play with that you got the the gist of it and uh, yeah that's everything so um, please uh, like and subscribe and all that fun stuff.